Hey, look, he's there. And welcome back to The Simpsons Tapped Out. Well, yesterday, I ended up getting the Guild Deal for this major event. Guild Deals are usually more expensive than premium items like characters, for example. This one was a little bit different, though, because this wasn't an actual character. This was actually kind of similar to Praise Land. If anybody remembers that from 2017, this allows you to build your own pet bear, which is pretty neat. So if you want to check out that video, I will leave a link in the description below, or you can obviously find it if you really want to look at it. Now to move on to the premium character for this Act 3, which is going to be less more, with the No Kill Kennel. Every 24 hours, 545 XP respectively, or be dreading. Standard 150 donut price. Yep. This is where Santa's little helper was born. Heads up! So that's where really? buildings that come guy? from. We must be running out of characters. If you're looking for a dog trainer, you could do worse than me. Could also do a lot better. Less more. I see you. Less more. But this is where he lives. This is his farm. Got a bunch of doggos in a cage. Don't worry, they're fine. Various colors of Santa's little helpers. We have a color that kind of looks like the Space Coyote in terms of the color. I think the middle might be the mother of Santa's little helper. And I can't really tell what the other one, what they track in the way. Will it sound like doggos when I tap it? Will it sound like something else? Common sense is it's going to sound like doggos. You cannot go in the building yet. Stop it, Lesmore. Let's hear those doggos. You know, I really did not tap that. Take two. <laughs> Definitely not killing dogs. <laughs> oh no. Do I want to tap less more now? Does he have a dog past? Yeah, that's me. I did not think it was going to be voiced. Got that cage welded up, and now I just need to finish the incinerator. I mean, doggy sauna for my uh, no-kill kennel. Hound, stop! Return to me! Dogs loose on you? Breathing hard. I released them hours ago, and they're supposed to come back immediately after their scheduled maulings. They're just distracted with so many other dogs running loose in the town. Did he call the dog catcher? Springfield doesn't have one of those. Maybe I could be a dog catcher. I have a kennel. Would just need more cages. And a license to legally apprehend dogs for profit. Eh, if I can fabricate a cage, I can fabricate a dog catcher license. He really does have a dog past. Add more cages to the kennel? Yeah, that's me. Before I do though, let us, well, let me sit here and percolate a bit to figure out what the animation is going to be. There are windows, but there's not really a lot of them. Well, there are, but they're pretty small. Lights could probably turn on. He also doesn't have a chimney, which is kind of weird. Maybe something with the dog cages as well. Maybe the dog cages will open up and the doggos will run around. Yeah, lights turn on. Doggo's running around having fun. Boy, are you lazy. Just show me those doggos. Hey, they're off. Look at them go. Well, not really going. Mostly standing. But they're happy. Maybe he isn't a monster after all. Oh yeah, and the lights turn on as well. Yeah, that's me. Actually, now that I think about it, I do remember in the newer episode, he was pretty mean to dogs. Mr. Moore, you said you had a deal to be with my while. Yes, Springfield doesn't have an animal control department. I'd be willing to be that department for you. You want to be a dog catcher? 
Yes, with all the stray dogs running around and them already becoming our overlords. And the angry mob's about to tear down your door. The people of the city do tend to form mobs rather quickly. So do we have a deal? It is tempting, though this is usually the point in the negotiations where people sweeten the offer. Say no more. Offer a drink to Quimby and then wait for a bribe. How much? Can I have some? Yeah, that's me. We get our first animation. Does that mean... Does that mean Quimby's going to be associated? Probably not. But I have been wrong in the past. Either way, offer a drink to Quimby. Can I offer you a drink to throw in my face? Alright. That's not Quimby. No, that's definitely not Quimby. Did he get this from the Springfield River? It looks like Mr. Burns dumped toxic waste into a river and just took it. It really does not look very appetizing. Like suddenly the guy who tortures dogs is the bad guy. Hmm. As deal sweeteners go, this is fairly underwhelming. That's the best drink I make. Maybe you could try a different sweetener. Wink wink. Sweet and low? If that's what they're calling it now, sure. Wink. What are you, what are you, what are you talking about, man? Is there going to be some kind of weird sexual thing here? Yeah, that's me. Alright, I'm now Springfield's dog catcher. I guess it was. I've got my dog rescuing sack, my permission from the mayor. Now, I just need to find some dogs that need capturing. Yeah, I mean rescuing. Using my stack, my snare, or any means necessary. He's so happy though. He found his purpose in life. Yeah, that's me. So we get our second and final animation, Rescue Doggos. Just uh, want you to move, but you're kind of in the way with the monorail and stuff. I may end up just actually like, giving up and hiding the monorail track. I'm gonna do that. Boy, are you lazy. Not looking at it, not looking at it, not looking at it. Just gonna hide it. Not looking at it. Okay, now no, I closed it. Okay, hold on. Okay, we're back. What's going on? I see a sack. Oh, there's a cute puppy. Oh! Is he stealing all the 101 Dalmatians? How many is that? Two? He's got 99 to go. 98. Well, he's going to hell. But suddenly the guy who tortures dogs is the bad guy. Hold it right there, pal. Officer, is there something wrong? There's a lot wrong. My belt won't fit anymore, and my gun fell on my bowl of lunch gravy. Those don't sound like they involve me. Oh, wait. I've been getting calls all day about someone stealing puppies. Please. I procured puppies legally after getting my approval from Mayor Quimby. I'm the new animal control officer. Hmm, that does make sense. But I want people seeing me doing something about it. So, I'm going to rough you off and take you in. No hard feelings. He low-key kind of deserves it. Yeah, that's me. Jeff Wiggum, how about I offer you something that'll make all your problems go away? Sounds like a bribe. I'm in. How about a puppy for that boy of yours? A puppy? But I don't know anything about puppies. Lucky for you, I can train both you and the dog at no extra cost. Train Wiggum and his puppy. Why is training quotations? What kind of training are you actually doing? So, the beer is for the dog. No, the beer is for you. The dog gets water. Even better, leaves. Free beer should at least get people talking about this place. There he is. You no good dog thief. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. At least they're talking. Yeah, that's me. Hey, I'm just the animal control officer hired by the mayor. Animal control officers are supposed to protect animals by rehabbing and readying them for adoption. 
They also offer good rates on dogs that need homes and basic training. Those dogs were stolen from homes around the city. You have no proof of that. That's literally my dog right there. He's microchipped and here are his papers. Bark. Pfft, just a classic he said she said he barked. Return rescue dogs. Yeah, that's me. So it's gonna be a happy ending. Can I offer you a drink to throw in my face? When suddenly the guy who tortures dogs is the bad guy. And that's the last of them. And you're gonna stop doing this? Totally. Immediately? My tenure down the road plan is not immediate enough for you? And there we go. The full arc to full less more. I liked his plan. I did. If he wasn't somebody torturing doggos, then it was a good plan. I liked both the animation, but I'm actually more of a fan of the animation of the building. I love the little doggos that were running around in the mud. Well, again, not really running, just standing, but I liked that. That really was a nice touch rather than just, you know, maybe just lights turning on, for example. So I liked that. There also voiced as well, which was a nice surprise. I didn't know if they would be, but I wasn't sure if he was voiced by a main cast member or not. Now we know. Let me know down below what you think of this more, and of course the building here as well. Like, comment, subscribe for more tap out videos, and I will see you with more premium stuff and more instead of Simpsons tapped out in the future. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye everybody!